Hello my dear friends, are you aware that there are two distinct techniques by which hydrodelineation can be performed either by injecting fluid in a circumferential fashion or by finding out the various lamellae and then injecting it in a lamellar fashion? Let me describe this to you. You know that the normal human crystalline lens has got a lamellar structure where the lamella are tightly packed and compacted together. The fluid can be injected in the mid periphery to identify the circumferential plane in this fashion and this is what we normally do most of us while performing delineation. However, the fluid can also be injected vertically near the central portion of the lens so it finds its way through the lamellar plane like what is depicted by these arrows. So we find that the use of both the circumferential and the lamellar techniques will enable us to have greater success rate in performing hydrodelineation and let me explain this in the form of certain case examples. The first case I'm going to do a circumferential technique of hydrodelineation, checking if the cannula is patent before I inject the fluid. This is the technique that most of us use. We push the cannula into the substance of the nucleus near the mid periphery and then we inject a short burst of fluid which will find its way across the lamella and demarcate the circumferential edge of the endonucleus. Let's take another look at the circumferential technique of hydrodelineation, the most commonly performed way of hydrodelineation. Go to the mid periphery, hitch it into the substance of the nucleus till you encounter a mild resistance. Inject short bursts and short aliquots of fluid to delineate the circumferential edge of the endonucleus and after you are done with it, you can perform the cortical cleavage hydrodissection. However, the lamellar technique is slightly different. We have to take the cannula into the center of the lens, push it through the epinucleus core and then when you reach the center, you inject a small aliquot of fluid and you see that the fluid finds its way through the lamella and delineates the circumferential edge of the lens. You can see it once again. Inject close to the center. The fluid will find its way into a given lamellar plane and it will delineate the circumferential edge. Once the circumferential edge of the lens is delineated, then you can take the cannula to the edge of the delineated circumference and then by strategically injecting small amounts of fluid, you are able to perform hydrodelineation. Look at this case where multiple lamellae get formed as I inject the balance all solution in the center. And once you are able to delineate the particular lamella, you can fine tune it or you can further define the edge of the endonucleus with a circumferential injection of fluid. So try this combination of techniques and this will help you. Thank you for your attention.